purpose of us seeing the correlation is to try to then draw the conclusion as to whether there's a cause and effect relationship. And if there is a cause and effect relationship, try to nail down what the cause is to the degree that we can or how causal it is. And see, no pattern might suggest no correlation. So in other words, if I plotted this out, these two data sets, whatever those might be, right, whatever these, and I got this set of points, and then I tried to draw a trend line, and I get no correlation or possibly a very low correlation, then that's going to indicate to me that there isn't a cause and effect relationship. In other words, my, the point of doing the correlation is to try to see if there's a cause and effect relationship. And if we get a correlation, then it's quite likely that there might be a cause and effect relationship. Then we have to drill down and say, well, is there a cause and effect type of relationship? It's not necessarily the case, but if there is a cause and effect relationship, then you would think that you would have to be able to find some kind of correlation. Whereas if you find a correlation, it doesn't necessarily mean there's a cause and effect relationship. But if you find zero correlation, then you would think at least with those two variables in to, alone, that there's not a cause and effect relationship, right? Because, because if there was a cause and effect relationship, you should be able to find some kind of correlation. Whereas if you find the correlation, it's not necessarily the case that there is a cause and effect relationship. Now you could have a more complex situation that maybe you need more variables. Maybe if you look at it through a, a multiple variables that there's kind of, that there's some kind of relationship that happens. But again, if there's if you have a low correlation, that would generally indicate, okay, there's not a cause and effect relation the way I have it laid out here. So why use regression? So to make prediction based on the relationship between variables. So again, with the hens and the eggs, why do I do the regression? Well, if I just have these dots of data points, I'm not going to be able to answer a question like how many hens do I need to buy in order to produce so many eggs that I'm going to sell in the future. But if I can get this line, if I can draw a trend line, then I can make a general prediction, right? This first, like this first hen, for example, this is hen, three hens made around a hundred eggs in a year, I'm, I guess. is it. And then five hens went up to like 175 or so. And then, and then when I went up from, from five to six, that last hen was kind of a slacker. We got a slacker hen, not, not that, you know, any kind of egg production I think is diff, tough work. It's not a job I would want to do, but I noticed that the other hens you know, they made more eggs than this one, hen number six, I noticed. But then that last one, uh, then, then going from six to seven, you, all, you had a, a high producing hen over here. So, that, so I can look at the trend line and say, well, how many hens would I need to produce so many eggs, right?